Hey guys, I hope you're all really well. So today I wanted to do a follow me around style video on a day of uni. I don't actually have uni today because it's a self-directed study day. Um, so this is what I do on an average self-directed study day. <laughs> so normally I start all my mornings off by waking up, making the bed. That is like the first thing I have to do to make sure my brain is like completely in line with my day and when I have breakfast I like to take it as a real relaxing thing just take some time out for myself in the morning um, I often wake up a bit earlier so that I can have a nice relaxed breakfast and I like to make porridge as well which can take a while um, so that is what I do for breakfast and then I jump into the shower um, sometimes wash my hair um, it needed a wash today so I've washed it this morning and then I go on to my makeup routine which looks like this. Um, so for my makeup I've just been keeping it really really simple. This is my makeup bag here that I use and I get asked a lot about what's on my skin these days because it's very glowing and as you can see it's my much loved <laughs> um, CC cream by IT Cosmetics. This stuff just never ceases to please me. It just gives the most natural look to your skin. So yeah, that's my go-to foundation. And for the rest of my face, I've been using these three as a combination. I've been using the Kevin Aquan Contour Powder in Light. Um, I forgot how much I love this. The only thing that annoys me about this is that it's got a really cool push open um, packaging, but it can push itself open in my makeup bag, which can be a bit annoying. And then for bronzer, I've been using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate um, bronzer, it just looks like this, it's a really nice bronzer, um, it smells of chocolate. And then for blush I've been trying to change up a little bit, I've been using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Soft Colour Blush in the shade Pink Rose. Eyebrows as always are Benefit Browsings, um, eyes I used the Balm palette again, and then mascara is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I love this for like a really natural look now because it's kind of running out my bottle so doesn't give like huge lashes as it did before when you first open them um so yeah really like this look and it also makes things really easy to take off in the evening and then for lips i've just got on this buxom plumping lip liner in the shade ransom and that is it for my makeup today there's all the products i'm using on my face now because I washed my hair this morning, I'm going to dry it. This video is sponsored by Tresemme, who you guys know I love and I've been working with for this year. So I really hope you've been enjoying my content with them. Before I blow dry my hair, I'm going to protect it with the Tresemme Heat Defense Spray. And I cannot tell you how many bottles I've been through these in the past. <laughs> this is a definite um, rosy favorite. So I'm just going to spray it all through my hair. I love this one so much because it just sprays really nice and evenly. And then I'm just going to turn my hairdryer on to the hottest setting because the heat protectant spray protects up to 230 degrees. So we're all sorted and we can get it dry quicker. <laughs> I'll see you when I have nice shiny hair. Look how shiny my hair looks after blow drying. It looks like it's been straightened, but I've just used heat defense spray. I'm gonna do a little bit of straightening just so that my hair is all completely smooth and it lasts for a good two days. Um, so I'm going to use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant Spray. This one gives a really, really sleek, polished look. So that's why I'm gonna use this one for the straightening part. Again, this one also protects up to 230 degrees heat. I'm just spraying that all over and I'm going to brush this one through so that it's distributed for when I start straightening. So I'm just going to turn my straightener on, put it up to 200 and wait for it to get nice and warm. While I wait for it to heat up I'm just going to section off my hair and when I straighten I like to use a brush so it just gives an even smoother look to everything. And when I reach the end of my hair I just curl it under slightly. 
And then with another clip, I just secure that at the back so I don't go and re-straighten it again. My main tip with straightening hair is probably to not neglect the back of your head because that is where it looks the most obvious if you haven't straightened it. So I tend to just do a final sort of check and I pick up the back section and just sort of give it a few little straightens back just to be on the safe side. And now I have super sleek hair ready for my day and also ready for tomorrow because it lasts a good two days like this. Now I'm going to choose an outfit for today and I've been really feeling going for like a double denim look so I'm going to see what's in my wardrobe. I've got a denim shirt that I could wear. This one's just from ASOS. And then trouser wise I'm going to wear my favourite flares from Revise. And then because it's quite chilly outside I'm going to wear a coat so I think I might go with this one which is, believe it or not, from f and at Tesco. So this is sort of what my outfit's gonna look like today. I love these jeans because they have a little star on the bum. Just super cute. Okay, this is my outfit for today. Um, the double denim look underneath with the shirt from ASOS, um, jeans from Revice. Trainers are Nike Air Force. And my bag is an old one from Zara. And then this coat, which I'm obsessed with at the moment, is from Tesco, <laughs> which I just love. And it also buttons up really nicely and um, ties around the waist as well. So it can look really, really cute. So I'm gonna go into town now and get some bits from the art shop possibly. I need to go to the library and have a little look at some books. And then the main thing I need is printer paper. I'm going to try the art shop for it, but if they don't have it, then I'm going to go into town and find it somewhere else. So yeah, let's go into town. back from town now um, they didn't have the printer paper in the art shop but they did have it in WH Smith so I bought two packets of that so now I have zero excuse to do no work <laughs> so yeah and I also did a little bit of a food shop so I bought like some mints to do a big chili with so I can just use that all week and just do random bits and bobs with it and then I went to the library got some books 
And then I also picked up some magazines, which I'll show you. So I picked up another magazine, which is huge. Um, but it was only like $7.99, but it had some interesting looking things in it. So I'm excited to go through this. And then I also picked up Dazed, which I love as a magazine. It's always got such great photography in it. They always use really like indie not indie but just sort of like slightly different style photographers to the standard fashion magazines I feel like um yeah so those two other magazines I picked up so now I'm gonna get into my comfy clothes and finish making my garments <laughs> that I made over summer which were meant to wear on the first day back um but I don't know if I will I probably will but like they were kind of made in summer for summer, which I should have thought about a bit more, but yeah. And then I've got a load of sketchbook work to be getting on with, some editing, I might go out at some point and do some outfit photos, so we shall see. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it for the rest of my day. So I will catch up with you guys once I've done a bit of work. <laughs> So I just went out to shoot a little outfit look and now I'm just sat on my floor editing because my room's a little bit messy. I always try and edit the photos like straight away otherwise I lose interest in them and don't bother doing anything about it. <laughs> have my dinner and now I think I'm just gonna carry on working might Skype my parents but yeah that's pretty much it for today I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me let me know if you want to see more videos like this thank you again to Tresemme for sponsoring this video and I will see you all in my next video bye I'm now gonna use the keratin smooth my computer just came to life by itself. That was so scary.